<laughs> okay, finally, we have Unify Multi Solver in sub level. Let's see MPM Solver. Hi everyone, this is Daizen. Welcome to my channel. Okay, we asked you about most favorite future in Houdini 20.5 and most of you guys vote for NPM solver. So in this video, we are going to see NPM solver in Houdini 20.5 and as you can see, this is an amazing work by amazing artists using NPM solver in sub level. So without further ado, let's dive in. So as you can see, we have amazing uh, new menu in Dynamic MPM Solver and it have three input as you can see. The first input is MPM Source and the second one MPM Collider and the third one it's MPM Container. Easy, right? And each of these uh, object needs MPM Container as you can see. You can connect that uh, uh, from the second input or uh, you can... Uh, drag that in container parameter and as you can see we have this amazing simulation with a simple piggy and tube uh, as a collider and this is an easy setup as you can see and if you want that automatically you can use npm configure node it will drop all the necessary node this is amazing by side effects you see simple right and uh, on npm menu you have all these amazing preset by side effects you can check it for example this snowball or this amazing uh, as you can see uh, the the wheel or tires as you can see spinning and this is amazing to learn from this uh, npm solver so this is the overall look of npm solver so let's go uh, into parameter as you can see in npm source we have a single or continuously a source for streaming and we have amazing preset material snow and behavior as elastic liquid etc and chunky for example the chunky is the famous one and we have uh, amazing parameter on the collider you can make it uh, you have you can have a friction or sticky and on container you have also friction and sticky and the particle separation it's straightforward as you can see and you can open boundary or close boundary or delete boundary open boundary will expand the particle but the close one it will collide uh, uh, with the boundary of the container and delete it will kill all the particle uh, outside the container so why we have npm solver in the first place you see MPF solver it's so good to solve multi-material uh, sources together and it's amazing in dynamic friction uh, fracturing sorry dynamic fracturing and this uh, th this why it's so important in sub level so for example how we can how we can combine the source together a uh, different source for example you see you need just merge node and create two source and different material for example this piggy uh, as a soil or mud anything and this sphere as you can see as a water and of course you can uh, give it a color for uh, representing uh, the, the multi material as you can see for example brown for the soil and uh, blue for the water and of course on the source we have amazing parameter a lot of parameter honestly i'm not a technical guy but uh, the most important of this uh, parameter is density for example you can increase the density and as you can see it will uh, behave uh, behave uh, differently for example you see if you increase the density of the water it will have uh, such an impact on the soil that will be amazing you see so that was a density 
Another important parameter in source NPM or NPM source, its stiffness. It's, uh, it's uh, defined by E, as you can see, E letter. And the stiffness, it's so straightforward, you can increase the stiffness. But uh, having said that, if you increase the stiffness, NPM solver will go slow, believe me. I will show you later on. So you can control the stiffness by this parameter or you can use, uh, for example, uh, attribute adjuster float after the NPM uh, source and you can go with a noisy uh, stiffness or anything you like. You see, this is how flexible uh, the NPM source stiffness or uh, a lot of parameter. So this was a stiffness. We see the density and the stiffness and a lot of this behavior have a different uh, parameter, honestly, and this is so technical, in my opinion. As an artist, you can uh, test uh, this parameter and see the result. So we have two material interact interacting together, the water and the piggy. How we can split them after the simulation for the shading or rendering? You see, it's easy. You can use a name property on the uh, point class. Pay attention to that. And after that, you can use split or group by expression and filter that by the name. And if you want wet map, of course, uh, I check a lot of attribute by the NPM solver on output uh, tab. And none of them will give us a wet attribute. So we need to do that in a traditional way. For example, you can split uh, the, the object and you can have a wet uh, attribute as a float. And, and you can use a sub solver to transfer this attribute. Of course, we have that in this tutorial. And of course, you can use a, a, surf, a particle surf fluid surface, sorry, particle surface fluid. And you can uh, use this as a wet map. And of course, this is a render version. And this is straightforward, honestly. So what about concrete? As you can see, they showed us this amazing uh, example of the building collapsing. So I have this building, as you can see, and I set up a NPM source as a concrete. And soon as I set the material preset on concrete, NPM solver will die. Honestly, this is so slow on concrete or high stiffness because the, uh, the NPM solver need to keep all the particle together. I don't know why, but it's so slow on concrete, for example. So it's good time to see what is NPM uh, solver doing uh, under the hood. As you can see, NPM solver stands for material point method as you can see and this is extension for the flip solver it's not multi solver we expected in sub level so it's doing with the particle and nano vdb i'm not technical guy though and of course as you can see it will give us amazing dynamic fracturing so you cannot have a custom fracture look like rbd material fracture so it will do the fracture by itself so of course you can have the concrete and the building as you can see I set up a custom velocity after the NPM source and I want to manipulate I want to mimic the explosion as you can see it and after a many decade of simulation and waiting <laughs> it's worked finally but it's not so good as you can see and a lot of expert I saw uh, they have uh, the same opinion so it's not ideal for the building and the concrete. So let's say you have the simulation. If you want to maintain, for example, the UV of the original uh, object, you can go to the NPM uh, source and you can enable this transfer attribute. And in the NPM solver, you can use this uh, asterisk mark to transfer all the attribute in the, both the details and the point. And on particle fluid uh, surface, so surface fluid particle, you can transfer that. And as you can see, you have the UV. And of course, after that, you can promote this UV to the uh, detail or vertex class. 
I saw this amazing watermelon explosion on the presentation, if you remember. And this is amazing, honestly. And I was wondering how can I do that in NPM Solver. You see, the NPM source can take a VDB as a source. And this watermelon, uh, it's have a trick uh, source, as you can see. This is source underneath another source, inner source, as you can see. And you can use uh, this VDB as a source. And, and you can use VDB combined to uh, subtract the source, as you can see, and you can have this like simulation, as you can see. So this is my first look on NPM Solver in Houdini 20.5. It's promising. This is the first gen. It's not so good yet. For example, it's so slow on concrete and have a many problem. So, but it's promising, honestly. But in first place, I was amazed by this car and the dirt and water, you see? This is amazing, as you can see. This amazed me a lot, honestly. So on my Patreon, we are going to uh, rig the car using the latest future RBD uh, car rig. And this is awesome. And in matter of fact, let me show you in this one in here. As you can see, we have this car. This is 206, my favorite car. And you can lay down an RBD car rig. And this is simple. It's it need a wheel uh, group. Easy. I will uh, create the, the group. As you can see, I will select these wheels and the tires. And I will assign that, as you can see. This is straightforward, as you can see. And you can have uh, RBD, uh, RBD bullet solver and or if you want to do that from this uh, drop menu. So I want to uh, enable the ground plane as you can see. And as you can see, this is amazing just with one note. And of course, you can uh, uh, increase the speed or the steers. It's have a many parameter as you can see, but the amazing one, it's the stiffness, you see. You can have this amazing effect by this stiffness. And as you can see, this is the car rig. And instead of the ground, you can use the height field as a collision. So we have this height field. And as you can see, this is amazing. It will interact with the, with the height field, as you can see. And it will, uh, it will simulate uh, the real car uh, movement, as you can see. And uh, I believe uh, they use the car rig in this example I showed you before. So yeah, this is amazing. So we're gonna continue that on my Patreon. We're gonna use uh, the dirt and the water, as you can see. We had this issue, the simulation will activate by itself. So how we can maintain the simulation until, uh, until the car hit that. So we fixed that on my Patreon using custom attribute it will be interesting tutorial so big shout out for these amazing people on my patreon thank you guys i appreciate all your support and have fun with our content see you in the next one goodbye